Well, hello and welcome. I am so excited to introduce you to my friend Natalie today. And yes, the illustrious Miss Corey is in attendance because she might need a little more milk because it's cluster feeding time here at my house. My friend Natalie is with us all the way from Georgia, where she's super happy with her family. Check out those books in the background. I was just admiring her whole setup. I'm like, mm, I need me one of those a little setup. Us best-selling authors love to show our books in the background. So that's super awesome. Natalie and I were just having a conversation a couple of weeks ago. I dropped this golden bomb. I didn't even realize how much it's going to impact her life. And when she casually mentioned it in a comment, I was like, girl, you need to tell other people about this. Like, this is like inflation's going through the roof all over the world. I told her one little thing. It had such a huge impact on her family's grocery bill. I was just like, I didn't even know it had that kind of, I mean, I knew it was good. I didn't realize it was that good. So I'm not going to steal her thunder. I'm going to let her share the story with you. So Natalie, real quick, thanks for taking time out of your mom life to be with us tonight. Why don't you share with the ladies kind of like what your situation was before what happened and what it's been like after? Um, well, we, we used to be pretty good at like meal planning and budgeting and just, you know, life got in the way and, um, we've got a seven month old now and we just moved to Georgia last summer and we just kind of fell off track and I don't even want to tell you how bad it was, but we were spending way more than we should have, um, on groceries and because of inflation and everything we didn't really realize how bad it was and how much we could be saving we just kind of made excuses like well you know prices are going up and that's just the way it is and we just kind of kept our head in the sand um until I talked to Tara so we have this conversation because you were running a challenge right in mm -hmm. your community where you help correct me if I'm wrong postpartum moms yep, right so remind me again because you and I were just having a short little talk because you were doing like a challenge to help your moms who are dealing you know working moms dealing with postpartum and anxiety as well right so I got mm -hmm. I got right so we're just talking about budgeting and having this little conversation and what happened next um well, I implemented one of the things, one of the tips that you gave me and um, your tip made it possible in my busy life to actually meal plan again without stressing about it or spending, you know, hours trying to figure out what I was going to plan for meals. Um, it made it just simple and easy and quick. So I implemented your tip and really started to like look at what we were spending and what we already had in our cabinets. And we cut our grocery bill in half in like the first week. That's so awesome. So what was the tip? Like, I don't mind, give it away. Like let's help other moms, right? You, you taught us about anchor meals anchor and meals. how each day you what you were doing each day was you would have like a theme or whatever for the day so like every Tuesday is taco Tuesday um which is I would say pretty normal but like having an anchor meal for each day instead of just one day a week or two days a week so I didn't have to like think about I didn't have to like run through all of the hundreds of recipes and idea meal ideas I had in my head, I could look at, okay, so Monday is stir fry night. What like stir fries do I have in my back pockets that I can go through instead of like thinking and thinking and thinking, it just made it really simple. Um, and so we did that. I wrote down on a marker board what what days we were gonna anchor with what meals. And then from there on the top of the board, I wrote what we were specifically gonna have. Um, so I had the bottom, I'd look at the bottom. Okay, this is the theme for this day. Okay, what, what are we actually gonna have? And I just did that, made it so simple. Nice. 
cut your grocery bill in half. That's like my jaw dropped when I read that. I was like, <laughs> I knew anchor meals are good. And, and at my home, we do four regular anchor meals. Yeah, Taco Tuesday. That came from the Lego movie, by the way. Because, uh, <laughs> you know, Taco Tuesday apparently is a thing for anyone who's seen it. And then we do pizza fry, uh, burger Friday, pizza Saturday. No, pizza. I get my days mixed up because my kids are getting involved with it now. Pizza's on Sunday. And then Mondays, it's soup and salad. And now that we're going to the summer season, it's going to be make your own sandwiches and salad. So it's always some kind of salad on Monday and soup or sandwiches, depending on the season. And those that way I only have to think of three other nights. And my brain can handle that in the middle of just busy mom life. I'm squeezing in my grocery planning once a week, you know, in between homeschooling and running the home and home business and all that other good stuff. So it saved me time. I didn't realize how much money it would save you as well. So that's fantastic. And that's actually just one, like one little tidbit, one piece of what I share. I actually made a whole course out of it for anybody who wants to check it out. It's how to feed your big family on a budget and anchor meals is definitely one of them. And I actually like give my spreadsheets because I have everything printed out. I even have a grocery list for my grocery store that's in the order of the aisles. Like I just, I was so tired of rewriting the same grocery list every week. So I actually just made it, I printed it all up and I just put check like a checklist because I always need milk, I always need bread, I always need these things. So that was like huge time saver as well. So if anyone wants to check that out, like I said, I'll put the link below. But Natalie, if anyone wanted to connect with you because you're helping moms specifically, you know, working moms, moms who are dealing with postpartum stuff, especially if there's depression and anxiety. Tell us a little bit more about like what you do and how people could connect with you if they, if they would like to. Um, if you would like to connect with me, you can connect with me at findnatalie.com. Super easy. Um, I am also on Facebook. My um, group is called Working Moms Overcoming Postpartum Anxiety. So what I do is I um, help postpartum moms who are, as you know, Tara, because you're in that stage, um, think back to where you were your, after your first child. Um, it's very stressful. And if you don't have the support that you need, it can really create a lot of anxiety and um, it can trigger feelings from, it can trigger like past traumas that you don't really realize are a thing until you get in that state of overwhelm and no sleep. And so I'm really there to support postpartum moms and kind of help them walk through that journey and, you know, share tips, tricks, hacks that I've learned um, becoming a mom twice now. Um, after a lot and that that's kind of one of my uh I don't know superpowers something I don't know what what the word is but that's one of the key pieces for me is that I I have such a large age gap between my two children that like this when I came became a mom a second time it was almost like I became a mom all over again and had to go through all of that kind of stuff again because my oldest is eight um so I'm like right out of, of that stage again now, but I also have the experience from my first. So that really gives me, you know, that it, that equips me to help a little bit more. <laughs> right on. That's so cool. You're right. Like rather than looking like that as like, oh, poor me, you're like, wow, actually this gives me a reserve of wealth, of knowledge and experience. And, you know, that like memory you can draw upon eight years ago. You're like, I've been there. <laughs> I've been here. Okay. I won't die. <laughs> and with the right kind of support and strategies, especially if you're hitting, you know, what I like to call a, it's like rapids when, you know, you're just kind of hitting the rough water and you're like, this was supposed to be smooth sailing. The book that I got of my baby shower said it was going to be so easy. <laughs> and sometimes it's not. And sometimes there are, you know, things that are more serious going on, warning signs. So if you want to connect with with Natalie and see like, hey, um, can I talk to you? Then she's absolutely there for you. Great resource, wealth of experience, like I said. So Natalie, I'm gonna pop off now. Thank you so much again for your time. So great to connect with you. Thank you. So yeah. glad this is helping you with your grocery bill in such a powerful way, especially at such a time as this. And again, so good <laughs> to see your pretty face on this night. You, too. you take care, give your babies a smooch, the big one. All right. And the little you one. Too. 
and we'll talk to you later. <laughs> All right. Have a good one. You take care. Bye.